How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 10 has just been announced, we know everything about it and I'm going to tell you all of that in this video. All of the new cars, just everything you need to know about Series 10 for Horizon 5. If this video does help you out guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel, helps out massively. Let's get into it. Just as we predicted in my video a couple of weeks ago, the theme for this month's update, Series 10, is Extreme E. It contains, I think, 14 new cars. So 14 is quite a good number in terms of new cars for this month. We're gonna start off with the festival playlist, which contains a bunch of the new cars, and then we'll talk about the extra things as well. So the full festival playlist for Series 10. For the full series, for 80 points, you can get the first new car. The number 58 Extreme E vehicle, which I believe is McLaren Racing. And then for 160 points, you can get the Razor TS. Now, the series itself starts on July the 21st. Now, for the first week, which is summer, which starts on July the 21st and ends on July the 27th. For 20 points, you can unlock the next new car of this month, the Porsche 917 number 23. And then for 40 points, you can get the Noble M600. There are more new cars that same first week. There is a seasonal PR stunt danger sign called Broadwalk. And if you complete that, you will get the next new car, which is the 2022 Extreme E number 44. Another variant of the Extreme E vehicles. You will notice that quite a lot of the new cars this month are different variants of the Extreme E vehicles. That same first week, there is another new car in the Seasonal Championship Extreme E Island Prix. This will give you the 2022 Extreme E number 42. Now, the Forzathon shop for that first week has stuff like the McLaren Speedtail, the Ferrari F40, a steamboat car horn, and an Extreme E pink race suit outfit. Pretty cool. Here's a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that first week. On to the second week, which is autumn, which is from July 28th to August the 3rd. For 20 points, you can get the next new car of this month, the Porsche 911 C2 GW. And then for 40 points, the Ferrari F8 Tributa. There are two other cars in championships and PR stunts. There is a speed trap seasonal PR stunt called Boulevard. I don't know how to say that. Once you complete that, you will get the next Extreme E vehicle, which is number 23, Genesis and Tretti United, I think that's how you say it. And then there is an Extreme E Energy Pre Seasonal Championship within the second week where you can get the 2022 Extreme E Veloc Racing. That's another three new cars that same week. Now the Forzathon shop for that second week has stuff like the Koenigsegg Regera, the Ferrari F50 GT, Confetti Cannon Car Horn and an Extreme E Blue race suit. Here's a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges that week. Now the third week, which is winter, which goes from August the 4th to August the 10th. This has for 20 points, the next new car of this month, the Emery 356C from 1964. And then for 40 points, the KTM Expo GT4. And then there is a La Cruz Danger Sign Seasonal PR Stunt, which if you complete, you'll get the next Extreme E vehicle, the 55, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's just another Extreme E vehicle. And then for a seasonal championship, you'll get the next one, 2022 Extreme E number 22. That's another three new cars that week. The Forzathon shop for that third week has stuff like the Ferrari 599XX Evolution, the Napier Railton, a Banjo-Kazooie Spiral Mountain Part 2 car horn, and an Extreme E red racing suit. Here are a few more screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that third week. Now the fourth week, which is spring, which starts on August the 11th to August the 17th, almost when series 11 starts. For 20 points, you can get the next new car of that week, the Porsche 911 from 1990. So four new Porsches this month. And then for 40 points, the Vauxhall Lotus Carlton. Now there are two more Extreme E vehicles available that last week, 
the Rosberg X Racing number no. 6 Extreme E vehicle for doing a Speed Zone seasonal PR stunt. And then a seasonal championship will unlock you the number no. 125 Extreme E vehicle from ABT Cupra XE. The Forzathon shop for that final week will have stuff like the Lotus Avaya, the Welcome Spring Car Horn, the Lola Penske Sunoco T70, however you pronounce that, and a green Extreme E racing suit. Very cool. Here's a few screenshots of that final week. Now those are 13 of the 14 new cars this month. The 14th one can be purchased from the Auto Show. If you go to the Auto Show, you'll be able to buy another variant of the Extreme E vehicle, number 99 GMC Hummer electric vehicle. So those are the 14 new cars available this month, 13 through Festival Playlist, one can be purchased through the Auto Show. There are a few other added customization things and bug fixes, we're going to cover them now. There is new car customization within Series 10 as well. Let me read you this. Series 10 will in introduce new car customization options including Hot Wheels signature red tyre compounds, 12 new Hot Wheels Spectra Flame colours and new Metal Flake paint options. These are available to all players and not just Hot Wheels players, so these are within Series 10 rather than the Hot Wheels expansion. There are some bugs and fixes, there's quite a lot of bugs and fixes, but here are some of the ones that they noted out. They are fixed an error message and a credit loss when bidding on cars in the auction house. They have fixed the Horizon Tour auto completing itself in Horizon in Festival Playlist, which most people will be quite annoyed about because that was very handy. <laughs> they have fixed motion blur, causing wheels to appear blurry or transparent. They have fixed certain cars feeling more unstable to drive when using simulated steering after a physics change in Series 9. So they have admitted to a physics change within Series 9 which caused lots of vehicles to feel weird to drive. Now they have fixed simulated steering being an aspect of that. They have fixed the inability to challenge players into head-to-head -head races in the Eliminator if they were using the damage overlay. Very strange thing, but they have fixed that as well. Now they have noted something else about the festival play this from this update because of the Hot Wheels expansion being added. This goes for people who don't have the Hot Wheels expansion and want to know if they can still get 100% on the festival playlist because the festival playlist now has Hot Wheels related challenges. Let me read you this. Starting from Series 10, Hot Wheels events will be added to the festival playlist featuring exclusive activities for expansion owners only. The completion of Hot Wheels events on the festival playlist are not required to unlock the minimum or max achievements for seasonal cards or cosmetic, cosmetic rewards for each series update. These Hot Wheels challenges are only bonuses for Hot Wheels expansion owners. If you don't have the Hot Wheels expansion, you don't have to do these Hot Wheels challenges to achieve gold for when viewing your series history. So if you want to do everything in the festival playlist and get gold but you don't have the Hot Wheels expansion, you can still do this and it will still count as gold even if you don't do the Hot Wheels ones. It's all still okay. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this. I feel like this might be a little bit of a controversial one because technically they've added 14 cars, 10 of them are exactly the same, and the other four are just portions. So eh, I'll see what you guys think of this. Like and enjoy, subscribe and like, and